Hello and uh, good day or good evening or good morning or whatever it is for you. I'm um, last time I posted a video about the pit bull and it may seems like I'm of the opinion that uh, I want to uh, ban the pit bull breed whatever a pit bull is. Um, however it's not that easy and maybe to um, give a better formulation of my own standpoint in this I've been reading a document from um, the um, the RSPCA Royal so Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals and they outline in a document what they um, regard or define as a dangerous dog and let me read from um, uh, from this document this particular document is from RSPCA Australia and they define a do dangerous dog as any dog which attack a person or other animal causing physical injury or death or behaves in a manner that a responsible person would believe pose an unjustified imminent threat of a physical injury or death. Exceptions to classifying a dog as dangerous by this definition should be considered when a dog has been clearly provoked into attacking a human or other animal in self-defense, defense of a human or their property, or where a dog instinctively attacks an animal normally considered red as prey. Then they're talking about breeds and uh, they consider that any dog of any size, breed, mix of breeds may be dangerous and thus dogs should not be declared dangerous on the basis of breed or appearance. Each individual dog should be assessed based on their behavior. RSPCA Australia does not support dog management legislation that dis discriminates against specific types of breeds of dogs. And then they talk about responsibility. Responsibility for the behavior of a dog rests with the owner and is exercised through the considered selection of a suitable dog for the owner's circumstances. The provision of a caring upbringing in a positive environment with appropriate reward-based training and by ensuring effective control of the dog. The, princip the principle of owner responsibility is firmly established in existing dog management legislations. So there we go. And I have to say that I, I fully agree with the statements made by um, uh, the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, because dogs are dogs, dogs are individuals, and uh, temperament and behavior change within breeds. Uh, uh, I know this from own experience. I grew up in a home with six golden retrievers. And the, the mentality, the different mentality and behavior of all these dogs was different. They all had their <coughs> personality, their individual personality. Some of them were dominant, others were shy. And I wouldn't say any of them, well, actually we had one dog that was um, uh, very dominant on the border to uh, uh, being aggressive and I, I was a small child at that time so I don't remember why but he was put to sleep it may be that he, he was sick or maybe because he started to develop a little bit too much uh, aggressive behavior but this was a male golden retriever a very big male uh, and such and um, uh, yeah th my, my point is that golden retriever is seen as a family dog, eh? but not all golden golden uh, retrievers are family dogs, because 
of the diversity of of um, <laughs> it's a little bit funny to say personality, but the, the dogs has that. They they are individuals, and um, that's how I look at dogs too. Th they are dogs. They are what we call humans' best friend, and um, th just as humans can be bad, dogs can be bad too. But it doesn't mean that all dogs of a certain breeds are bad. Um, yeah, that's about what I wanted to say. And uh, thank you for listening.